right now a lot of people are saying, when is the market going to turn around? What we're seeing in the last three or four months is enormous volatility in terms of sales and purchases relationships. And usually that's uh, a good sign in the sense that we've had almost a continual downturn for the last two years. And now we've got this market that's fluctuating, and it's not providing any consistent signals that suggest it's going to continue uh, in an upward uh, trend or it's going to continue in a downward trend. It's basically saying it doesn't know where it wants to go at the moment. And as we look ahead, we find enormous sensitivity to our forecast, depending upon whether we use data ending in September, October, November, or December. And so uh, I think for the first time in, in two years, we've got the basis for at least suggesting that the market might turn. And I think what it's looking for now is a signal from the economy, and it's not getting that clear signal. And if we have two or three months of very strong employment growth, then I think we'd be in, in, in good shape. So uh, looking at it from, from this particular market, uh, we're going to see uh, sales on an annual basis that are going to be very close to zero, uh, to plus five to 10 percent to minus 10 percent. So they're fluctuating around zero. Unfortunately, our forecast suggests that the prices are going to continue to decline at rates much, much lower than they were in 2009. And a large reason for this is the expected additional uh, volumes of foreclosed properties that are going to enter the market in 2010 and 2011. And after 2011, I think most of us are, are thinking that the market may then start to operate as a normal market. And with the dynamics of buyers and sellers, then we might see some, some upward sustained trending in, in those prices. 